We are back on This Week in Buys and Sports on 101.5 <laughs> UMFM. We talked to three of the recruits earlier at Smitty's. Now we got the other three recruits. Tell the vast listening audience on 101.5 UMFM and the World Wide Web on Bison's TV your name, uh, your position, and how many years you've played soccer. Um, my name is Kati Rados. And oh, I'm going to get that wrong so many times. I know. I know. Sorry, say that again. Kati Rados. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, okay. And I like center midfield the best, and I've been playing for 12 years, I think. All right, she yeah. just jumped right, right in the <laughs> math. I like that. Um, I'm Catherine Mio. I play more of a fullback position, left or right, whatever is there. And I've been playing since I was like four. And how old are you now? 18. Uh, it's 14. Uh, my name is Alyssa Carpino. I like to play forward, and I've been playing since I was three. And you are how old? 18. 18. 15. It's good. Fun with uh, math, also with buys and sports. All right, uh, say the name again. Kati. No, say the whole thing. Kati Rados. Kati Rados. Perfect. Oh, there you go. You're from Victoria, I believe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, how'd you get to Manitoba? Uh, I just, I was emailing a bunch of schools just to see what was out there, and then I emailed Vanessa, and we had a few phone calls, and then I came to see the school, and yeah. And, and, and the rest is history. Pretty much. Somehow you got a t-shirt yeah. out of it, you're going to be know, wearing, yeah. wearing the, the, the bison brown and yeah. gold this year. Um, Catherine, yes. uh, how, how did you get to Manto? And we're, we're, uh, you, you're from Thunder, Thunder Bay. Yeah. Uh, well, it's not as far as Victoria, so not no. as bad. Uh, well, our team used to play in the Winnipeg League here last year. I think they're playing again this year. But I emailed Vanessa asking her to come watch some of my games, and then we just started talking more and, yeah, came to some of the camps. and. Yeah. Alyssa? It's mm -hmm. Alyssa. Uh, you're also from Thunder Bay. Was this a, a package deal? Yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Did you just both get in a car together and just say we're coming to Manitoba now? Yeah, we both played on the same team, so I came down for the Winnipeg League and um, emailed Vanessa, and she came to watch some games. And then I came down to some of the camps and really enjoyed the soccer here, so it was an easy decision. That's awesome. Hey, uh, training camp's already started. Yeah. Uh, you guys are rookies. So uh, how's that been sort of getting used to sort of university high-performance level? Uh, it's been pretty good. The girls are really nice and everyone's really welcoming. So we just kind of jumped in and we're in full swing. Catherine? Yeah, basically what Katie said. But yeah, everyone seemed like they really wanted like all the rookies kind of in there. So it just helped out a lot. Alyssa? Uh, yeah, they were all, all really nice and they help you out while you're playing. So like it's they really um, wanted us to play there. So like they're really nice and it was really easy to just come in because they welcomed you very well. Uh, so you guys being rookies, there's a lot of a uh, lot of people uh, on on the lineup here. They got a lot of people on camp and stuff like that. Uh, what's your kind of goals and expectations going forward, uh, Katia? Katia. Ah, Katia, that's close, close. <laughs> uh, what, what kind of goals, expectations do you have for your first season here at Manitoba? Uh, I just want to be the best player I can be. So I just work hard every day. Help nice. the team, yeah. There you go. Uh, well, I want to work hard so I can get better and then hopefully have more of a position on the roster next year. Potentially a starter, I don't know. We'll see. Well, you got to so, yeah. aim high, right? Exactly. Um, I just want to do my best and put um, and really work hard so then I can have a spot on the roster and uh, do my best for the team. Uh, how exciting is it that this program is going to be hosting CIS Nationals next year? So this year, the goal is to make it there yeah. on your own. Next year, you already got a berth by being the host. But as a player, I know you know you already made your decision before that got announced. But now, as you're part of this program, is it cool that you know? Hopefully, this year make it a national as well. But next year, for sure, you're at the nationals here at home. Yeah, it's super exciting. I think some players play five years and never make it to nationals. So for us in our second year to for sure be able to make it, it's a dream come true. Pretty cool, Catherine, huh? Yeah, definitely. It'll give us more experience, even like while we're still young, so then hopefully we can get there like within our years after because we'll know what it's like at that level. Alyssa? Yeah, it's um, super exciting to be able to have that experience in my second year so then we can kind of be familiar with it and work hard the year after to get there again. I'm going to try not to butcher these names, but I'm going to try and get it right. We got Ford Alyssa Carpino. It's pretty good. Catherine Mio on oh, the last one here. It's uh, Katia? Katia. Uh, Katia yeah. Rados. 
perfect. Oh, that's not too bad. Right. Katia, yeah. you're, you're being modest here, but, but you have some national experience that uh, really we don't have on this squad. Uh, talk about uh, how you got involved with that and, and who, who have you played with, uh, you know, at the national level? Yeah, so I've played for the U16, 17, and U19 Croatian national team. That is cool. Yeah. Um, that's pretty pretty lofty uh, stuff there. Uh, how's that experience been, and how will that help uh, you know as you you play here at Manitoba? Yeah, it's awesome. I love it, and I think it really is similar to the university level, just the testing and the expectations and all that kind of stuff. So I'm kind of used to it already. Uh, Alyssa and Catherine, you bo both played at uh, oh Saint. Agnesia? Ignatius, but Ignatius? no, I actually played oh. at St. Patrick High School. Oh, there you go. See, you know, I'm going to have to change that on the website. It's all right. It's all good. Now, did you guys play, uh, but did you play for the same club team at yeah. Thunder Bay? Yeah. Uh, how cool was that to kind of play together? Like, And what is? what do you think the level is? It's going to be a little bit different when you get to this, this university uh, playing? Yeah, definitely. In Thunder Bay, we don't have like a high level of soccer for girls, so it's definitely going to be a different experience coming here because... It's, yeah, it's more difficult, I find. Because you don't get much experience in Thunder Bay because it's a smaller city, not as much there. So when you come to Manitoba, it's a bigger city, more chances, more opportunities kind of thing. This is the big city compared to Thunder Bay, let's yeah. be honest there. No, no offense yeah. to Thunder Bay, but <laughs> Alyssa, uh, how, how excited are you so far through training camp? Oh, it's very exciting. I enjoy it. It's um, a lot um, more competitive than my team at home, but it's really fun and it's getting me better and better each day. Well, uh, very good. Congratulations to all three recruits here as you uh, start your first year here at the Manitoba Bisons. I'm going to try and get this right. Oh, say the first name one more time. Kati. Kati Rados. Yeah. There you go. Catherine Mio and Alyssa Carpino. Uh, not too bad. Uh, all the best here at Bison Women's Soccer. You can get all the details on gobison.ca. And you're listening to this week in Bison Sports on 101.5 UMFM.